this first example is really similar to one that was on the notes already. So suppose oil spills from a ruptured tanker and spreads in a circular pattern. If the radius of the oil spill increases at a constant rate of one meter per second, how fast is the area of the spill increasing when the radius is 30 meters? So as always, with these problems, I suggest you start with a sketch. And my circle looks pretty poor, so let's do that again. So there is, or here in the middle is the oil tanker that's, that's leaking oil. And this is our radius R. And let's figure out our goal. They ask us, how fast is the area of the spill increasing? So we wanna know how fast the area of the spill is increasing, which is the rate of change for the area, excuse me, um, dA over dt, so the change in area over the change in time. That's what we're looking for. And I'll write goal here. And we're given, and actually let me be more specific, we wanna find dA over dt given that R equals 30 meters. So we're told we wanna to find the change in area with respect to time when the radius is 30 meters. Now, let's see how we can set this up. Well, the area of a circle is pi r squared. And now we're gonna use implicit differentiation to find the derivative of both sides with respect to t. So let me write that down. So we're finding the derivative with respect to time on both sides. So we have the um, dA over dt is equal to pi, which is a constant. The derivative of r squared is 2r. And then we have to multiply by a dr over dt. So wonderful, let's look at this. We have our goal is right here. So we just need to put our number in for r, which is here. And then dr dt, where is that? We can find that in the problem itself. The radius of the oil spill increases at a constant rate of one meter per second. That is dr dt. So one meter per second. So that means I have dA over dt is equal to pi times two times 30 and it's 30 meters times one meter per second. And when we multiply that out, we should get 60 here, so 60 pi. And our units are meters times meters, so meters squared over seconds. So we have 60 pi meters squared per second. And if you pop this in on your calculator, you'll get about 188.5. And we can answer this now in a complete sentence the area of the spill is increasing at a rate of 188.5 meters squared per second when the radius of the spill is 30 meters.